Did you know that black pepper can have adverse effects on certain health conditions? Yes, this humble kitchen staple, often taken for granted, can be a hidden adversary when it comes to some specific health issues. Sprinkling a generous amount of black pepper on your meals might be a flavor enhancer but it could also irritate the stomach lining, particularly if you have gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. This irritation can exacerbate GERD symptoms like heartburn, turning a tasty meal into an uncomfortable experience. But that's not all. Black pepper, especially when consumed in large quantities, can slow blood clotting, posing a risk for those with bleeding disorders. Considering its widespread use, it's crucial to understand these potential drawbacks. So, next time you reach for the pepper grinder, remember, moderation is key. Avoid using too much black pepper or any spicy seasonings if you have GERD or a sensitive stomach. Black pepper may slow blood clotting and increase bleeding risk. Now this might sound alarming, especially for those of you who are dealing with bleeding disorders like hemophilia. So let's delve deeper into this issue. Black pepper, the king of spices, is a common ingredient found in most kitchens around the world. However, it holds a lesser-known potential danger for individuals with bleeding disorders. The piperine in black pepper can slow down blood clotting. Now this is crucial because, for those with bleeding disorders, the body already has trouble forming clots to stop bleeding. This means that consuming black pepper could potentially exacerbate the situation, leading to increased bleeding risks. This could be particularly dangerous during injuries, surgeries, or even during normal daily activities where minor cuts and bruises are commonplace. So it's vital to be aware of the potential risks associated with the food we consume. So avoid using it if you have a bleeding disorder like hemophilia. For some people with IBS, black pepper can trigger stomach pain, diarrhea, and other IBS symptoms. Now this might come as a surprise. After all, black pepper is a staple in almost every kitchen. But here's the thing, black pepper has piperine, a compound that can irritate the intestines. Imagine this. You're going about your day, and then BAM, you're hit with a bout of stomach pain or diarrhea. And it might be because of the black pepper sprinkled on your lunch. This is especially true for those with digestive issues like irritable bowel syndrome. The piperine in black pepper can stimulate the stomach to produce more acid. While this can aid digestion for some, for others, it's like adding fuel to the fire. It can worsen symptoms such as stomach pain, bloating, and irregular bowel movements. So it's not about completely eliminating black pepper from your diet. It's about moderation and understanding your body. It's best to limit black pepper intake if you have bowel or digestive issues. Black pepper may interact with some medications. Now that's a statement that might be surprising for many of us. This commonly used spice has a potential to interfere with medications like blood thinners, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, also known as NSAIDs, and carbamazepine, a medication used for certain types of seizures and nerve pain. The active component of black pepper called piperine is known to affect the metabolism of these drugs, potentially altering their effectiveness or even causing unwanted side effects. This is why it's crucial to be aware of what you're sprinkling on your meals, especially if you're under medication. So what's the best course of action? It's simple really. Always consult with your pharmacist or doctor about possible black pepper interactions with any medications you take. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific situation. Furthermore, if you've recently undergone surgery, it's recommended to avoid black pepper for a period of two weeks before and after the procedure. Piperine could interfere with drug metabolism during this critical recovery period. Avoid black pepper if you take certain medications or if you've had recent surgery.